Right now at 10, an abortion lawsuit hits the courtroom in Madison. Wisconsin's attorney general says the fight to have legal abortion in the state will continue. And construction on a pedestrian bridge in the town of Campbell is delayed. Plus, malice in Boston. We take a closer look at claims a city administrator may be corrupting its police and fire commission. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. A Republican district attorney has asked a judge to dismiss the lawsuit seeking to repeal Wisconsin's 1849 abortion ban. The lawsuit, filed last June by State Attorney General Josh Call after the reversal of Roe v. Wade brought the law back into effect, has become a focal point in the fight over abortion rights in the state. Call, a Democrat, argues that the 1849 law is superseded by newer legislation, including a 1985 law permitting abortion until the point of fetal viability, which is usually 24 weeks. Counsel for Sheboygan County's district attorney who filed the motion to dismiss the suit argues that the laws do not conflict. Call says the judge will issue a decision on that motion to dismiss and the case will move forward from there. Of course, there will likely be additional proceedings as we move forward, and we are confident about our arguments and look forward to continuing uh, to fight in court to restore access to safe and legal abortion in Wisconsin. It's unclear at this time when the judge will issue her ruling. Governor Evers intends to veto a Republican bill designed to increase funding for local government services, including police and fire departments. Evers pointed to clauses within the bill that would ban public health officials from temporarily closing businesses and penalize municipalities that reduce police staffing levels. Supporters of the bill, including Milwaukee Mayor Cavalier Johnson and State Senator Mary Felskowski, remain optimistic. The measure would include $1.5 billion in aid to counties, cities, towns, and villages. Wisconsin legislators today unveiled bipartisan plans to overhaul the state's approach to holding presidential elections. The bills would prevent last-minute poll closures, protect election officials, and impose stricter criteria on those using military ID to vote. Violence against election officials is on the rise nationwide. A 2022 Brennan Center study found that one in six election officials had been threatened. Referring to the need for election protections, Representative Joy Gobin said, quote, they deserve to do their job without fear for their personal safety. As floodwaters recede locally, some roads along the Mississippi are opening up. Crawford County Emergency Management says State Highway 82 going to Lansing, Iowa has reopened. But State Highway 35 south of DeSoto is still closed. There are detours set up for drivers to follow. And just in time for some nice spring weather, La Crosse residents will soon have the opportunity to enjoy several of the city's parks and trails that have been closed due to flooding. The Parks, Rec and Forestry Department has announced that starting tomorrow, Huska Dog Park, Riverside Park and the Riverside International Friendship Gardens will be available for public use again. Also reopening are the Green Island and Huska Park trails. Excellent news after, I mean, just in the last couple of weeks, a lot of that stuff has yeah. been virtually underwater, Bill. Yeah, for example, here in La Crosse, uh, again, taking a look at the 10 o'clock data, we're down below 13 feet, 12.92 uh, to be exact, uh, and that's the first time we've been that low in over two weeks, and that's the case also in Wabasha, down to 13.11, 14.19 in Winona, and 19.43 in Prairie du Chien and McGregor. In fact, the river is forecast to fall back to flood stage and continue its downward trend on Sunday here in La Crosse and upriver in Winona, and on Monday, in Wabasha, probably around May 11th for Prairie du Chien and McGregor. So uh, hopefully when I'm talking to you next week, we won't be uh, discussing the details of the Mississippi River as it will be below flood stage in most, if not all locations. Uh, just a few clouds scattered about. Uh, any rain chances holding off to our west, uh, especially as you head back into Nebraska. That's where the uh, uh, most intense uh, convection is in terms of along a frontal boundary that's kind of stalled out across the region. Current temperature is still mild. Uh, 58 in Sparta. That's a cool spot though. 63 here in the cross. 70 at Volk Field. Also 70 in Boscobel and Prairie du Chien. So mostly cloudy. Uh, just isolated showers potentially overnight tonight. Generally about a 20% chance or less is the way it's looking right now. Milder temperatures though with lows around 54 degrees. And then a chance for showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. I think the highest chances will be in the afternoon and into tomorrow night. So not quite as warm tomorrow thanks to more cloud cover, but high still around 71 degrees. You'll want to keep that rain gear handy into the weekend as well. I'll have my eight day forecast coming up. Sounds like a plan. Thanks, Bill. 
Well, tomorrow evening, the Kingsbury and Neighbor family are holding a prayer ceremony for Madeline Kingsbury, a Winona woman who has been missing since March 31st. Friends and family will be speaking. The organizers are asking people to download a candle app on their phones instead of bringing real candles. The service will happen at the Bandshell in Veterans Memorial Park in Winona. If weather gets bad, the service will happen at First Congregational Church on Broadway Street. After confusion about the costs of a footbridge on French Island, the town of Campbell held a special board meeting tonight to address some concerns. News Now's Anna Fisher attended that meeting and joins us now with the latest. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Ken. The DOT and French Island have been at odds trying to decide the fate of the pedestrian footbridge in, on Bainbridge Street in French Island. The existing contract gives ownership of the bridge to the DOT with the expectation that inspections of the bridge will happen every two years. In return, the town will take care of all maintenance costs of the bridge for a minimum of 20 years. Residents tonight voiced concerns about future costs since the town's budget focus has to shift toward battling PFAS. I just found out today that due to um, budgets and, and rebalancing our program that this project got moved from construction of 2024 to the construction of 2025. So we do have a little bit more time, but I, I still probably need an answer by August 1st. If either the DOT or the town wishes to make changes, the agreement can be renewed after each year. Meyer says should the agreement change, the town's maintenance cost will remain the same. And the DOT does have the right to close the Bainbridge Street footbridge at any point if the bridge is declared unsafe. Ken? All right, Anna, thanks very much. And the conversation will continue at the next town board meeting. We'll have more information on news8000.com. Well, a group of Holman students is working with community members tonight to help a local man battling ALS. The Holman Middle Schoolers are members of a program called Pursuit Youth Fitness, whose owner, Nick Johnson, says they're always encouraged to give support to those in need. And for their first ever fundraiser, one person in need came to mind straight away, their teacher, Miss Stratton, whose husband has ALS. So for them to, to come up with the idea on their own to give back to their teacher was, was heartwarming and, and awesome for me as their coach um, to see them make that decision on their own. Members of the community were given the opportunity to donate to the various volleyball teams competing as honorary celebrity sponsors and then cheer their team on while promoting a good cause. With the tournament in full swing earlier this evening, the organizers had raised $1,500 with an ultimate goal of $2,000. All proceeds from the event will go to Miss Stratton and her husband. The kids and Coach Johnson all hope to continue this tradition next year. The 2023 Conductor Wannabe winner is named. Bill LaRue raised $25,001 for the fundraiser. The Children's Museum of La Crosse will get $12,500. LaRue will conduct a piece at the La Crosse Symphony Orchestra concert on Saturday. Brad Weber, the second place winner, will also conduct at the concert. He raised just over $15,500 and the La Crosse Community Theater will get half that amount. The concert starts at 7.30 at the Viterbo Fine Arts Center. There are still tickets available. After the break, the line between politics and professionalism appear to be blurred in the city of Boston. We take a closer look into the influence of the city's administrator on the Police and Fire Commission after this. It's the Bobby Bones Show. Let's go. We're going to make you laugh. Yeah. And the biggest stars in country music, they all come by here. Really? Yeah. Shut up. Join me, Bobby Bones, every weekday morning starting at 6 on Kix 106.3. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. What's this spring like? Free flowers. All month long, save up to 20% off store-wide. Plus, as a thank you, get $50 worth of free flowers from Sparta Floral when you spend $499 or more. Buy a sofa? Get free flowers. Buy a fridge? Get free flowers. Buy some flooring? Get free flowers. While you're picking up your free flowers, buy some more flowers. Wesco in Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup is always free. Tell them Peyton sent you. Update your home's exterior with 11% off everything at Menards. Timbercrest Premium Vinyl Siding has a limited lifetime warranty and is 15% thicker than standard vinyl siding. Available in nine popular colors. Get it today for $7.49 per piece after rebate. Your roof is the first line of defense against the elements. Owens Corning Architectural Shingles can withstand up to 130 mile per hour winds and have a limited lifetime warranty. Right now, they're 11% off at Menards. Save big money at Menards. 
by it's Elvis Duran. Thanks for listening. We are just the family sitting around the table. Best answer ever! We're always fun. Oh. Oh my God. Hi, it's Elvis Duran from the Mix Morning Show. Wake up with us every morning on Mix 96. Sunday, we told you about accusations from Austin volunteer firefighters that their city administrator's influence over the police and fire commission is fanning the flames of an already troubled department. On this International Firefighters Day, we examine whether the administrator's actions justifies sounding the alarm. Insulation from politics. It's the reason police and fire commissions, or PFCs, exist. But in the city of Mauston, volunteer firefighters say the lines between politics and professionalism are being blurred. A 30-day suspension effective immediately. Case in point, Nate Brown, a volunteer firefighter put on trial before Mauston's PFC in February and nearly fired for the way he responded to a suspected trespasser on his family's land. Firefighters say that allegation would have never made it to the PFC if the trespasser in question didn't work alongside city administrator Randy Rieg. They say Rieg's had it in for them ever since he took the job, and it started with the department's bylaws. These bylaws are really more intended for a firefighters association. In 2020, Rieg called for the PFC to abolish the fire department's bylaws in favor of the city's employee manual. Everything you do, whether you're a volunteer or not, <clears throat> is under the liability of the umbrella of the city and therefore of all of the taxpayers in the city. The PFC obliged, and the battle lines were drawn. Everything in that employee handbook has nothing to do with us. A number of volunteer firefighters from Austin spoke to us anonymously for fear of retaliation. They worry Administrator Reeg's influence over the PFC is going too far. It's his whole control issue. Randy's trying to run the city and he wants to run the fire department at the same time. Which brings us back to Nate Brown. And this is a pretty important case because you've got a whole pile of firefighters in the room who want to know whether this is the kind of conduct that makes them at risk for being terminated as firemen. Ultimately, the PFC voted not to fire Brown, though he did receive a 30-day suspension. A compromise this time, but firefighters are left wondering when the flames will flare up next. Now, some Austin residents say Administrator Rieg has gone as far as attending closed PFC sessions. While those claims are not confirmed, if true, they could constitute a violation of due process in those meetings, as Wisconsin courts have previously upheld that city influence during those meetings could, quote, impermissibly taint decisions made within the board. We reached out to Administrator Rieg. He declined to comment. Still ahead tonight at 10, a plant sale is helping a lacrosse nonprofit continue educating young students about gardening. And later, a para archer from Onalaska is looking for extra support to make it to a competition after funding fell through. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. Check out these highs today between 77 and 82 in our viewing area. Now, will this warmer air stick around? I'll have the answer with my eight day forecast after the break. Shop for a cause at Home Sleep Express. Donate $10 to help ovarian cancer research, and Home will give you 10% off any Luxuria or Thomas Cole sleep mattress, plus free shipping. Give $10, get 10% off sale prices, only at Home Sleep Express. Did you touch the thermostat? Did you turn it up? Of course not. Did somebody fiddle with the thermostat? Dude, it's 85 degrees. 85? Do you have any idea what a couple degrees will do to our gas bill? Why is it so hot here? Someone turned up the heat. What do you think you're doing? I like to sleep with my window open. You are not supposed to touch a thermostat. Are record high energy and water costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes? With inflation rising at record levels and incomes not keeping pace, you might be one of tens of thousands of Wisconsin residents who are struggling to survive. While you may not ask for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to be without heat, water, or power for a hand up Apply today and call 1 
800-506-5596. That's 800-506-5596. Or visit www.heat.help. To everyone who appreciates a handcrafted meal, are you ready for a taste of Wisconsin? Butterburger's cooked fresh, just the way you like. The way you love. Definitely love. And our thick and creamy frozen custard, we make it for you all throughout the day. All day. All day, every day. Put it in the extra work and not cutting corners. It takes a little longer. But it's how we've always done it at Culver's. Because making your meal with care shows how much we care. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Home World Rugs is clearing out our warehouse. Thousands of area rugs will be sold at up to 67% off. Rugs marked down hundreds of dollars. Five by eight rugs priced from $77. Room size rugs from $147. The Rug Warehouse Clearance at Home World Rugs. Spring is a great time to plan your next home improvement project. Call now for a free estimate on windows, doors, siding, sunrooms, decks, baths, kitchens, or flooring. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. The Toma VA Medical Center is hosting a walk for Mental Health Awareness Month. Staff are inviting the public to engage in conversations about mental health, how it affects people's lives, and most importantly, how to stay resilient when dealing with mental health issues. Coordinators say it's important to recognize that someone's mental health can be affected by numerous aspects going on in their lives. Realizing that part of the human experience is to struggle sometimes and that could include a formal mental health diagnosis or could just include the impact of things like the global pandemic we've just been through or seasonal things that are going on in our life. This walk is free for the public to attend starting tomorrow at 11. The group will meet outside the Toma VA Medical Center in front of Building 400. We'll have more information on News8000.com. Local nonprofit Grow is hosting a spring plant sale at its greenhouse to raise funds for its garden based learning programs. Grow works with nine area schools to teach kids hands on skills in the gardens. Grow's greenhouse has a variety of vegetables, plants, and flowers to help everyone get their own garden started. There will also be a limited amount of house plants available for purchase. One organizer says Grow's programs help kids learn more about their food. So they get to come out into the garden during their school day and learn really about where their food comes from and just be a part of the process from seed to table and they get to help plant and tend and harvest the food and then even see it in their school lunch line. If you're interested, the sale will be held at the Groves Greenhouse on Western Technical College's campus Friday through Sunday at those specific times each day. All profits will go directly to Groves Educational Programming. For more information, you know where to head. News8000.com. All right, another beautiful, sunshine-filled day. Hopefully that kind of stuff sticks around for the foreseeable future, Bill. Yeah, I even dared saying Speedo weather oh on boy. my Facebook That's page. That's a big claim. And a lot of you had some uh, negative reactions to that comment. <laughs> so I never said I was going to be in Speedo. I just said Speedo weather. Yeah, in general. In general. Yeah, exactly. If you're so inclined. So, cal calm down, everyone. <laughs> Uh, low symptoms tomorrow and Saturday for oak pollen, uh, high to medium for birch and tree pollen, still high in general. Now, keep in mind, if we do see some rain showers at times, uh, that tends to knock the pollen out of the air and will lower those symptoms. So uh, that's the silver lining behind some rainfall. Of course, you hate to have it on the weekend, which we do have in the forecast, but uh, we'll also see plenty of dry time uh, both days as well. Now, currently skies mostly cloudy, but look at that beautiful day today. Yeah, I'd call it speedo weather. Come on, 82 degrees, 68 is average. Not quite record territory though. 91, the record high today set in 1952 and uh, no rainfall and none for the month so far. So a half an inch below average, still running about two and a quarter though above average for the year 2023. Uh, 63 degrees out at the airport and the Mississippi continues to drop 12.94 feet. And for you folks in Eau Claire, 59 degrees and the Chippewa River is holding steady. So really a mild evening all the way from the front range of the Rockies through the uh, central portions of the plains and into the upper Midwest temperatures in the 60s for many. We're still at 63 in La Crosse, 68 in Winona, 55 up in Marshfield, 65 in Black River Falls, still some 70s believe it or not at this 10 o'clock hour in Decorah, also Prairie du Chien and Boscobel. Uh, winds are calm locally, but notice how they're coming in different directions. South, northeast, so there's a boundary sitting right about here and it's kind of stalling out. It's a frontal boundary and eventually once we get enough 
oomph or lift and moisture along that boundary. We'll see it activate with some scattered showers and thunderstorms like we're seeing back across Nebraska, maybe far northwestern parts of Iowa. But as you get closer to us, the air is more stable and that's why we're not seeing any showers activate quite yet. But this low will kind of help throw some moisture into that boundary, bring a better chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially I think by tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow night. Sky Tracker will kind of show that just some isolated showers tonight and into tomorrow morning. But notice as we head into the afternoon, we start to see some more impressive shower and thunderstorm activity. Try to get going and move into our area uh, later in the day and into tomorrow night. That's going to be the trend through the weekend. This boundary will kind of hang tight and we'll see these periodic chances for some showers and thunderstorms rolling through. But again, uh, plenty of dry hours as well. Temperatures for tomorrow, not quite as warm as today because of the cloud cover and rain chances at times. Uh, right around 71 or so is what it's looking like for a high in La Crosse. Low to mid 70s down to the south. And as we head back to the north, generally uh, upper 60s to low 70s, especially as you head in our far northern communities, maybe some low to mid 60s for highs. Uh, up there. So for tonight, 54, pretty mild with just a small chance for a shower uh, late tonight after about 2 a.m. or so. Uh, scattered showers and storms tomorrow, especially in the afternoon and into tomorrow evening, 71 for the high and more of the same through the weekend. But as I mentioned, plenty of dry time as well. 70 on Saturday, around 80 on Sunday, and then some low end rain chances Monday morning and again on Tuesday, Thursday and Friday, but staying pretty mild with highs in the mid to upper 70s, overnight lows in the 50s. So uh, maybe start on those gardens this weekend mm -hmm. if you can work it into the dry time as well. So. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Bill. All right. Coming up next in sports, just two years removed from a championship, the Bucks making a coaching change. Plus, some of the best athletes in our area on one field this afternoon showcasing their skills at Central. Rob's highlights are next. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Your health care should be unique to you. At Mayo Clinic Health System, they get to know your story and customize a treatment plan that fits your needs. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At By Goff and Rody, that's how we get results. At Papa Murphy's, we build your pizza with the freshest ingredients. You take it and bake it fresh in your oven. So technically, I make the pizza. Right now, get the limited time Taco Grande pizza. Papa Murphy's, change the way you pizza. Terry here, and welcome to Stockman's in Osseo, where we're getting ready for spring. Our greenhouse is now open. A large selection of beautiful flowers, vegetable plants, garden seeds, perennials, trees, shrubs, mulches, soils, and much more. Stockman features a large selection of grilling supplies, gas grills, and charcoal grills. Spring and summer apparel arriving daily. Grocery, produce, beer, wine, liquor, and so much more. So come take the Stockman's tour in Osseo, where I'll be looking for you even out here. It's the King Furniture Pre-Memorial Day Mattress Blowout. We're making room for more inventory and slashing prices on all mattresses. Plus, get an additional 10% off. And whatever mattress inventory we have left, we're going to blow it up in the parking lot. Just kidding. But you are going to get incredible deals, plus 12 months interest-free financing. Hurry in to the King Furniture Pre-Memorial Day Mattress Blowout. Don't miss it. Community. It's baked into everything we do. And with Perkins Strawberry Freshable, everyone can enjoy fresh strawberries starting at just $8.99. Indulge in all our favorites. And don't forget a slice of strawberry pie from our bakery. Order online at PerkinsToGo.com. When the insurance company sees Bygoff and Rody on the other side, they know they're in for a fight. It's your life, but it's our fight. And they know that if they're not being fair with us, they will find themselves in court. And that's how Bygoff and Rody gets results for its clients. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. What a day in the world of sports. We'll get to the Bucks situation in just a bit, but we're going to start on the track. The high school spring sports season took a little while to get going because of the weather, but you couldn't ask for better conditions today in lacrosse. The best athletes in our area putting their talents to the test on the Central High track. The best of the best showcasing their skills in the Willard Hansen Invitational. Let's start with the girls' 100-meter hurdles. This one was a battle. In the end, it's the Cashton Eagle, Michaela Gooslaw, soaring past the competition. The sophomore taking first place with the PR of 17.38. Next up, it's the boys' turn. And check this out. It's the Central Junior 
separating himself from the rest of the pack. Aaron Poma flying toward the finish line. Poma gets it done with a time of 15.85. Good enough for first place. 100 meter dash time. Start with the girls. Nobody's catching Chippewa Falls senior. Brooklyn Sandvig, she takes first place at 11.91. On Alaska's Carmen Roraff finishes in second with a PR of 13.21. And on the boys' side, Aquinas' is Colin Conzemius. He's been on a mission, but the Blue Gold senior getting tested. Central's Bennett Freed right on his heels. But in the end, it's Conzemius coming out on top with a time of 10.9. Freed finishes in second with a personal record of 11.12. Let's hit the pitch. MVC clash in Onalaska. Hilltoppers hosting West Salem. First half, Ellie Muscati, a one-woman highlight reel. Check this out. Gets some separation. Floats this one into the back of the net. Gorgeous goal from the sophomore. It's 1-0 Hilltoppers. And then later in the half, Amaya Tessing doubling Onalaska's lead. Another rocket finds the twine for the Hilltoppers. It's 2-0. Home team looking to add to it. But this shot is going to get tipped. Hits the post. Almost goes in. Stays 2-0 at the break. Hilltoppers tack on one more in the second half. They go on to win it by a final of 3 to nothing. And how about the Toma softball team? Big shout out to my buddy Tamara for sending this one in. The Timberwolves and Vikings, top two teams in the MVC going at it this afternoon. It was a pitcher's duel early on, but Toma erupts in the fifth. A four-run inning capped off by a two-run double from Lauren Noth. Timberwolves get the shutout win 4-0 the final. It's their 16th win of the year. That's a school record for Toma. On to the pros now. It felt like this was inevitable. The Bucks season ending prematurely last week as Milwaukee failed to get out of the first round of the playoffs. And today the Bucks announcing that they have parted ways with head coach Mike Budenholzer. Bud led the Bucks to a championship just two seasons ago, the franchise's first title in 50 years. But it was a tough finish this season. Budenholzer is just the fourth coach in the past 50 years to lead his team to the best record in the NBA and not return the following year. Twins looking to avoid being swept by the White Sox in the eighth. Byron Buxton making sure it doesn't happen. He crushes this one a left. Game tying solo shot in the eighth makes it a 2-2 game. We'd go to extras and in the 12th, Twins pouring it on. Nick Gordon with two on, drives this into the gap in left center. Two runs are gonna come in a score. Twins avoid the sweep. They get the win, seven to three. And finally, the WKBT Bowl. Brewers looking to avoid the sweep in Colorado. Milwaukee going right to work. First batter of the game, Christian Yelich. Dead center, 424. It's 1-0. Later in the inning, Rowdy Telez joins the party. He sends this one way out to right center. Brewers would lead it 4-0 late, but the Rockies put up a four spot in the seventh, and the wheels start coming off from Milwaukee in the eighth. Harold Castro pokes a base hit in the left field. Two runs are going to come in a score. Rockies go ahead 6-4. to four. They hang on for the win 9-6. to six. Brewers drop their fourth straight, and we got some drama here at KBT. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just Bringing out the brooms, huh? Well, I, guess, I guess I have to go with the sweep, innocent. right? I got to go off camera? Let's see. I'm just an innocent advisor. I'm just reporting the sports here. Unbelievable. Man, there is a lot, the man's of, got a lot of dust now. in here. <laughs> He's got props. Thank you very much. I started a war. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> we'll get you back. That might be the only three game. Uh, actually, I think we're up to a four game winning streak now. Yeah. That might Maybe. be the only only one this season. So thank you, Brewers. I guess we you're welcome. We appreciate it very much. <laughs> Floor looks so clean now. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Our phones keep us constantly connected. Please switch to airplane mode. But what if they helped us actually connect? What would I give? <laughs> Introducing us mode. Set your phone for human connection at U.S. Cellular. It's time for more fun moments at Fanati's. The whole family's here today. Yeah, we're out running errands together and thought we'd stop and pick up a few things for Mother's Day. She loved truffles. Who doesn't? When I was little, she would always get truffles for Mother's Day. Chocolates and a, assorted chocolates and bars. Happy Mother's Day, Amanda. It's so good to see all of you again. Thanks, Lori. You too. I'll see you tomorrow. Brought to you locally by Fanati's Nut and Chocolate Shop in downtown La Crosse. It's big, really big. At Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota, we're overstocked on some of our best brands and most popular styles. That means big savings for you. On top of sale prices, if it's in our warehouse, you can take an extra $100 off items over $1,000, $200 off items over $3,000, or $300 off items over $6,000. If it's in stock, save even more. But these discounts won't last. Shop Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Voted your favorite furniture store. 
Need new windows, new entry doors, or a new patio door? Do what thousands of local homeowners have done for over 30 years. Call or visit the board store today. Superior products, the most experienced installer team in the region, and a servant-minded senior sales staff who will ensure you get the best product for your home, family, and budget. Improving your home, improving your life. Visit our 15,000 square foot showroom located at 524 Copen Avenue in La Crosse or call for your free estimate. You won't be disappointed. You can't always avoid migraine triggers like your next period. Qlipta can help prevent migraines. You can't always prevent what's going on outside. That's why Qlipta helps what's going on inside. Qlipta gets right to work. In a three-month study, Qlipta significantly reduced monthly migraine days, and the majority of people reduced them by 50 to 100%. Qlipta blocks CGRP, a protein believed to be a cause of migraines. Qlipta is a preventive treatment for episodic migraine. Most common side effects are nausea, constipation, and tiredness. Learn how Abby could help you save on Qlipta. The good news, U.S. Cellular gives you $1,200 off any phone with no trade-in needed. Wow. <laughs> so, friend who always has a broken phone can finally get a new one. It's just a scratch. <laughs> it's broken. No. Oh. Ooh. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. An Onalaska para-archer is not giving up. Lucas Harrow is raising money to get his care staff to come with him to competitions. News Now's Jeremy Wall spoke to Harrow today about the challenge ahead. I can't, I can't do this on my own. Lucas Harrow has big goals. My goal is to represent our country and our community in the 2024 Paris Paralympics. Shooting his bows for almost two years, when funding to get him there began falling through, he started a fundraiser to continue his passion. I travel with care staff. Uh, so, you know, kind of did an outcry towards the, the community and asked for some help and funding and uh, managed to raise quite a bit. So far, the support from the community has been overwhelming. In 2013, 85% of his body became paralyzed after Hero got into an accident near Black River Beach. Now, he's trying to raise between twenty-five dollars to $30,000 to get to the 2024 Paralympics. I've managed to raise quite a bit. So far, the support from the community has been overwhelming. So far, he's raised $8,000, and Harrow is confident his goal will be achieved. Harrow says he will be training nonstop until the Paralympics. Anyone interested in helping Harrow for his journey can head to news8000.com. We've got a link posted. We'll be right back. Ashley's having a huge sale. Right now, you can get up to 50% off floor models. Plus, shop limited time deals throughout the entire store. These deals won't last long, and once they're gone, they're gone. Hurry to your local Ashley store to shop and save today. Hang on tight, Wisconsin, because fun just got a lot faster. It's Fast Play from the Wisconsin Lottery, an all-new style of lotto games that combine instant wins with the progressive jackpot. Playing is easy at any lottery retailer. Just print, play, and know if you're a winner instantly. The progressive jackpot starts at $10,000 and grows with each ticket sold. The share of the jackpot increases with the price of the ticket. Fast Play is available now only at Wisconsin Lottery Retailers. You V helps you fight migraine attacks. You put it all on the line. You do it all. So you bring U V. It can quickly stop migraine in its tracks within two hours without worrying if it's too late or where you are. Unlike older medicines, U V is a pill that directly blocks a protein believed to be a cause of migraine. Do not take with strong CYP3A4 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Migraine pain relief starts with you. Learn how Appy can help you save. Ask about U V the anytime, anywhere migraine medicine. Stings, dents, scratches, big crunches. You know where to bring them. Pishke Motors Collision Center on 2nd Street in downtown La Crosse. When you've got a crew of professional body and paint technicians like ours, you provide them with the latest in repair equipment. And that's what we've done in this state-of-the-art, environmentally friendly facility. We have customer drive-in lanes, soft touch, 24-hour car wash. So when the dings, dents, scratches, and even the big crunches happen, bring them to Pishke Motors Collision Center on 2nd Street in downtown La Crosse. Don't let banking be stressful. Union State Bank is a family-owned bank at the forefront of technology. Our mobile app lets you manage your finances on your time. Deposit a check, pay bills, manage your debit card, transfer funds, and receive real-time alerts. We bring banking to the palm of your hand so you can easily track your account wherever life takes you. At one of our locations or on the go, Union State Bank puts you first. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. 
Ashley's having a huge sale. Right now, you can get up to 50% off floor models. Plus, shop limited time deals throughout the entire store. These deals won't last long, and once they're gone, they're gone. Hurry to your local Ashley store to shop and save today. Just a small chance for a shower overnight tonight. Uh, mild though, low to mid 50s. If you need to mow the lawn the next three days, uh, looks ominous there. I'll have yellow lights <laughs> because you'll have to dodge some rain showers, but not all day washouts by any stretch. Temperature's not bad. 71 tomorrow, 70 on Saturday, 80 on Sunday. Good advice. Download this thing. First, uh, first worn weather app. We'll keep you aware. And are we done playing the Rockies? It's over. It oh, thank goodness. Yeah, three more in Milwaukee later <laughs> in the season at some point. No. <laughs>